I started doing a pas de deux that um, I tried not to let the two dancers within the pas de deux let go of each other. Um, they are always interconnected and something that is a little different. Usually pas de deux, you run away, you, you do a trick, you run away, you do a trick. But this one was much more, as one of my dancers said, it's like scribbling. <laughs> you just scribble and that's what the whole movement is based off of. So they never, never let go of each other. I don't necessarily know if it's actually going to end up being a piece that I go and set elsewhere, but it is definitely one of those experiment, experimental phases in my life right now that I need to, to see if that is actually interesting enough, the, the intertwining of two people and continually intertwining them, if it's interesting enough for the audience member to follow and get something out of. And even though this is all kind of like, this whole ending part is very iffy, they just do your best to like do what I just want to see. I wanted to come to NCI because it was a great opportunity to get to work with dancers from all areas of the country, um, just basically to practice my craft and, uh, you know, get to, it was a, a place to experiment with perhaps, you know, something new, something I didn't get to work with before, new music. It's a safe place because there are no reviews. There's not, you know, not a. It doesn't have to be an end-all piece. It's just, you know, you you use the time to your advantage. And this is just a choreography lab, and it really, really is just a choreography lab. I mean, the first day we came, it was just experiment. There is no sense of like we need to see a piece. In the end of the day, I'm really trying to find an emotional charge for myself and convey that. I mean, movement is beautiful and it's, it's visually just great, but my most important thing is I, I want to feel something. I want to say something, whether it's abstract or something, and I don't want the audience to know. I want them to make their own judgments and ideas. When I sit and listen to music, um, my head gets completely filled with movement. Um, and the interesting part about that, as much as I am driven by music, I can oftentimes, especially when it comes to partnering, which is a passion of mine, sit with no music and have a boatloads of images come into my head and, and sequences and things that I know I would eventually want to put to music. I think of it in just a romantic, two, in, the ter in terms of two people intertwined and moving through space. What, what kind of happens in my head is I start getting these images and little by little I'm locking into some things that really kind of just catch my attention in my own head and then I want to try to remember them. 